He is not going to ask you anything of this. But what? Allah is going to ask you. Hey guys, you're welcome. My name is Bukomi. So, an amazing four years old who explain what Islam means. So, let's watch. Our first speaker for the day is also the youngest speaker for the program. Fatima Salim Kodia was born on 13th March 2006. She is only four years and three months old. Presently in Junior Kedi, she aspires to be a dynamic teacher, inshallah. Fatima is a very bright, cheerful and a very creative child. She is focused at such a young age. She is a keen observer and a quick learner. Honesty and humbleness is an integral part of her nature. She has the art of winning the people's heart by simplicity. Her hobbies are coloring, reading storybooks, and watching Dr. Zakir Naik's DVDs. Her ambition is to be a da'i and spread the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and bring people from darkness to light. Brothers and sisters, guess what is the greatest gift bestowed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the Muslims? What is better than the wealth and the treasure of this world? Yes, it is the gift of Hidayah. Yes, it is the gift of Iman. Yes, it is the gift of faith. For without knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator, how meaningless this life would be. But once we have this world's best treasure, it is very important to nurture it, to nourish it. Sister Fatima will show us how to save our Iman. Brothers and sisters, Please welcome the youngest speaker for the day, Fatima Salim Kodiya. Hush, little baby, wow. pure and small. The Wasad Ajma'in Amma Bad Auzubillahim na shaitan na jeem Bismillahirrahman rahim Ya ayu Allah zina Amanu Ku Anfusku Wa ahliku Naran Rabba Shai Sadri Vassalli Amri Wahlul Uqtadam Milsani Yafko Koli, Maris Patelos, and my dear brothers and sisters, and come off you with the Islamic readings. Assalamu alaikum, rahmatullahi, wa barakatuhu. The peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon all of you. The topic. Of my job is how to save a real man. Brothers and sisters, today, before I continue, we know how important it is to save a real man. Iman is the most valuable thing in this world and in the Kira. In this world, Man saves us from the evils of the societies and your own nafs. Watch above the Akira. In Akira, Allah is not going to check how much money you have. Allah is not going to ask you how many children you have. Allah is not going to ask you that. I is not going to check a degree, a diploma, a doctor, be a holder, and a PhD. No, he is not going to ask you anything of this but what Allah is going to ask you is about your man. 
the prophet sallallahu said let that kulural janna none of us can enter paradise hatta tu'minu until you have iman the topic is how to save a real man and then the prophet continued wala to menu hatta tahabbu you will not have a man until you love one another now how do you love one another <coughs> do you love one another a fija brothers a fija sisters the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam asking the sabbath shall not tell of that which will to end then your love between yourself the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam asking us do you want to know how can you spread then your love among yourself the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said afshush salam bainakum spread the word of this the great muslim every day to see and the muslim say assalamu alaikum it is always a sorry man by going on saying these good works allah will spread and your love among yourself while you have the love to save your own man but the other way to save a man is by pondering over the meanings of the quran which allah has revealed to explain everything now the light to guide the human kind there's no doubt that it contains a most powerful and effective cure things and knowledge the knowledge that leads one to fear Allah and increases one's weight in Him is also of the ways to save a real man from that the way is doing a lot of righteous deeds and filling one's time with them this is a part of mercy and wisdom of Allah that he has given us a variety of acts of worship to do some of which are physical such as Allah the third nawafil sunnah tahajjud and financial such as the ka sam combine both physical and financial aspects such as umrah and hajj the most spoken such as zakr or duwa all these we did would increase our iman and save it from destruction in the smile to the one who you meet increases your iman look at your parents your teachers your friends everyone smiles at them because smile is a sadaqa inshallah you'll get all the blessings of allah but this i would like to 
I'm not sure. Bye. Quoting the verse of Louis Square, which I recited in the beginning of my talk from Atahi, chapter number 66, verse 6. Ya you are Lazina, Amaru, Ku, Amfusku, Wa Ahlikum, Naran. Oh, you believe, save your soul and your family from the hellfire. Welcome to Dawana, Hamid Larbian. Jazakallah Fatima, that was amazing. May Allah help us to strive and save our Iman. Ameen. Ah, wait guys, this girl behaved so maturely. Like, she's being maturely, she's being more than eight. Just imagine the way she stepped on that stage. Like a grown-up woman, she was even catwalking. You know, she got to the stage, she got to where the mic was and she started talking. She she was not scared, she didn't have stage fright, nothing for a four years old child to stand for eight good minutes. Is it eight or seven, seven minutes or eight minutes? She did amazingly well. And I love when she was demonstrating, you know, you know, making use of her hands, you know, looking at the audience. That really matters. Like she's so bold, she's so beautiful, she's so intelligent, like wow she's well brought up like she's really well brought up like kudos to her parents they really did well with her training she, like just imagine her outfit she looks so good on that outfit that gown the hijab she looks so good and i, I must say kudos to the audience too they, they, they didn't make any side talks they didn't try to laugh or anything just imagine if it was another you know, place like that. You know, that we laughing at her based on the fact that she's young or something, or the way you know. I'm not saying that laughing to make chest but laughing like you're just surprised that this mugger is talking like this. But to my greatest surprise, she exceeded my expectation. I was expecting something else. I was thinking maybe when she'll be talking, she'll be talking, uh, she'll be kind of shy. But she was looking straight to the audience, she was talking with confidence, with boldness. She was even telling them that. Allah does not need anything from you. He just wants you to show love to one another. You need to show love to one another. Your good deeds matter. The message was really passed. Even though there are some points in which I was not hearing what she was saying well, but you know, based on her age now, you know, her aurora's are not yet clear very well, but she really spoke very, very well. And she made use of the microphone very well. Like the fact that she could, you know, give some expression you know demonstrate with her ends you know you know talk with boldness and she, and the one that even finished me that i was shocked about was when she was like um on the final notes before i wrap it up like she even let the audience know that she was about to finish her you know a sermon and she made that statement and she used that few seconds to you know encourage people and tell them what Allah wants them to do. She came here to preach about God. And that was beautiful. And when she left the stage, she left the stage with confidence. Like, I just love her confidence. Her confidence was 100%. Like, I could see some expressions from the audience. They were like, ah. Like, the way they, 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 they didn't really make sight of but the way they were looking, uh, they were just shocked. Some were even smiling more silently and wondering that, wow, this girl does. This is beautiful. I love to see this. I love this. Like, I love this. Kudos to our parents. Ha! Ah, wow. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more. Like, share, and comment. I'll see you in the next one.